Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today along with my son. Nathaniel. Yeah, how y'all doing today? So, uh, friends, today I'm out here in the garage and I'm doing a brake job on a friend's car. And we decided, I decided it was a good time to teach my son how to use this brake plate we have here. We have a AccuTurn 8922 here that we acquired uh, years ago. And we've used it a time or two, do a couple brake jobs here. And I've Daniel's 18 now. I think I was 18 when I learned how to use a brake load. So it's time to teach you. Are you ready yeah. to learn how to machine <clears> something? <throat> yeah. Step one, friends, safety glasses. I made the boy put on some safety glasses. Definitely use that when you're messing with the brake load. Um, so what we have today is some rear rotors off of a Nissan Altima. Solid rotors, very thin. Not sure if I have a vibration dampener for these or not. But we're gonna make something work. Uh, the one arbor that we're putting up here, just this one cone here. Are you watching Nathaniel? Yeah. You wanna use a cone here that fits the biggest one that you possibly can fit on your rotor. And I already know that this is the one to use for this one. We're gonna use a spring. We're gonna put a spring on here, okay. And then we're gonna find a cone that will fit. I believe it's gonna be this bad boy right here. Let me wipe this off. We got a lot of dust and rust on some of our pieces here because we don't use this very often. See this cone right here? You wanna find one that fits inside. You want it to be where it sticks out a little bit that way, it's a little bit that way, okay? If it falls all the way through, it's too small, okay? Or if this surface here doesn't dial into there, it's too big. And what I'm talking about, I want to explain to you what it looks like if it is too big. Let's say we use this cone. See, this one won't even go in there. Okay, so that's too big. Too big. Oh, here, let's just go and use this example here too. This one here would be too small. See, it falls all the way through the hole. Okay. So guys, we want to make sure you get the right one. Put that on here. We're gonna put the rotor on here and just let it hang there for just a second. We're gonna find our other big old uh, cone to go on here. And I think it's right here. I haven't used this in a while. I don't know why that would be way over there like that, but it is. Okay. Cups, I guess you call these. Big old cups. I'm not sure of that. But this is just what you need to clamp on here. So you got the cup on the inside, okay. you got your spring, you got your centering cone, where that's kind of spring loaded, where it keeps it up against there. Mm -hmm. And then you want to put your other cup out here, like so. And I always like to grab each and just kind of wiggle, knock off any rust or dirt that might be in the way there. And then I'm hold that up there nicely while I find a spacer. We're going to use this little adjuster here as a spacer and we're going to use this one right here okay and then we're going to use our nut okay so i wish i had something a little bit spacier than that but i guess i don't anyway we're going to run this all the way down by hand okay then we're going to use our wrench right here okay now some people bang on it you don't have to do that all you gotta do, turn the machine. I don't know why this machine ain't turning. There it goes, you feel it turn the machine? I'm used to our one, the one at work. Our one at work, you don't have to mm. tug on it that hard to get it to do. We got a um, hunter machine at work. Anyway, all you gotta do, go that far right there till you feel the motor turn, or see the motor turn. You don't have to bang on it, okay? It's not good, it'll actually warp your rotor, okay? All right. Uh, I was talking about the vibration dampeners just a minute ago, and here's the only ones we got for these really small rotors. I don't know if they're gonna work. There's one that actually is larger than this. It should be for this rotor. I don't have one. So we're gonna try to get one of these little ones to go on here if we can. And what this does here, Nathaniel, this rubber band being around here will help uh, dampen some of the vibration that this brake lathe will exert on this rotor. Mm -hmm. 
It'll help it keep it from chattering, okay? Chattering is uh, when it starts to vibrate and it'll just leave a really chewed up pattern on your rotor, okay? All right, pause for just a second. All right, we had to reposition, folks. So here we go. Uh, we're getting ready to take our um, disc cutting arbor here and get things adjusted to this rotor, okay? You see this big old distance between these two cutting bits? The last time I cut a rotor, I cut a big wide rotor, okay? It's like a front rotor. So we got some adjusting to do here, okay? We actually need to come over here to this actual turn spindle here, and we're gonna have to rotate the machine just a little bit this way to get this rotor to where we can adjust things, okay? Uh, typically, sometimes you have to move that, sometimes you don't with this machine if you're cutting rotors. So anyway, this right here, we're gonna go ahead and spin this in some. About halfway, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and lock this down for just a second, all right? We might end up having to move it again. We're gonna do it just so we can loosen our bits. Now we're gonna take our, these screws here and we're gonna adjust our bit holders in a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, with this thin rotor, we're gonna run out of adjustment. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring them bits in a little bit. And we're gonna do about the same amount on both sides. Now you don't wanna bring them in too awfully far, because that leaves it more subject to vibration, okay? When these things are sticking out here, the further they're sticking out there, the more prone they are to vibration as well. Okay, so we'll snug these down. All right, now, you see the light here? All right, Daniel, I'm gonna loosen these. These are already loose. We're gonna run them in and get them somewhat close. I just wanna see what we look like here. Okay, now it's looking like I wanna move this whole thing this way again, okay? Like so. I think that'll be good for that. All right, we're getting to a point here where I'm ready to flip this thing on. And we're gonna, are you ready for me to flip it on? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna snug this down. We're gonna leave that just like so. That's good to go. All right, over here we have a switch. It switch right up in the middle is off. All right, there's a switch over here on the side. See how it's got three positions? Yeah. Off, rotor, and drum, okay? Now, now, what are we cutting today? A rotor or a drum? Um, a welder. That's right, so we're gonna flip this on rotor, okay? And here we go. Come back over here where you're standing now. And what we're gonna do, you got that mess all over your back too, man. Get that off of you. All right. What we're gonna do, we're about midway. I might actually go a little bit further than midway in the, this rotor, and I'm gonna turn this down until this touches, okay? I'm turning this clockwise. All right, now it touched. I'm going in here on the inside. Cameraman, bring it over here and you see when it actually touches. I'm turning this clockwise, as you can see. You're gonna see that bit touch here in a second. Right there, she's, she's touched. All right, back away, please. Now we're gonna take this thing right here, the thing, and we're gonna turn it in, all right? We're gonna turn it in manually. We might get the sound of like we're cutting off a bunch here in a minute. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. And so this thing is worn with a lot of parallelism. We're gonna turn this on in, turn it in slowly, so we don't burn our bits up. And we're gonna take it in the whole distance that we want to machine this, okay? All right, that's good enough. Bring your camera back around so you're not looking at my ear. All right, so we're in all the way, okay? Now, we want to take some thousandths of an inch off of there. We're gonna make a pass. The machine's actually gonna do the work. So right here, if you'll look, where these adjustments are. This thing here spins, okay? Let's see if we can read it. We'll bring it all the way to zero, okay? You see how that's a zero? 
All right, I'm gonna bring, I typically don't bring it to zero. I just bring it up to something equal. But since we're doing this for structural purposes, I will. These are loose, okay? That's a zero. We're gonna cut about three thousandths of an inch off, okay? Right. On this side. So we're gonna turn this knob. Each one of these little notches here is a thousandth of an inch, which is not very much, okay? So we're gonna turn this one, two, three. Three little notches, okay? And then we're gonna tighten that down. Right over here, same thing. One, two, three little notches and tighten that down. And now we're gonna flip this lever right here and this thing's gonna, it's gonna do the work itself, okay? All right, so we just flipped it. This thing is slowly gonna pull this whole arm back and run them bits across that rubber and machine that surface, okay? All right. Let's start cutting here in this side. You hear it? You hear that? Yeah. It's actually machining it right now. All right. As I was telling you a while ago, this one rubber band here is not, sometimes not, you need a little bit more than that on these thinner rotors, okay? We're just going to take, you see what I did there? I took one of the brake pads off of the car, I'm just going to stand here and hold it, alright? That's going to keep that vibration down, it's going to make it do a better machine surface on there, okay? Either me or you one is going to stand here and hold it. Now they make a tool, folks. It's like a little U-shaped spring tool that has two little pieces of brake pad material on there. And you can actually stick it on here, rest it up against there, maybe sometimes stick it up with your little adapters on there to hold it in place and you can walk away. But we don't have that here today, so we're gonna stand here with the brake pad, okay? Stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, we have completed the pass. We're gonna turn our feed off here. There we go. This thing sticks sometimes on this old brake load. And I'm gonna flip the lathe off. And then we're gonna take a look at our machine surface. It looks like it cleared it up pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a, um, a die grinder over here and I'm gonna show you how to put a um, non-directional swirl finish on this rotor, okay? to where it doesn't, um, it'll keep the pad from slapping around in the bracket in case the surface is too rough. And I'll explain that in just a minute. Let me grab that right. All right, what we're gonna do with this die grinder here, you can do this with either a die grinder that rotates or just a piece of sandpaper by hand. You see the surface on here? Now, although we got a pretty good machine surface, sometimes when machining a rotor, it gives it like a record player effect. Do you know what a record is? You have no idea what that <laughs> record is. He's too young. Breaking the record! Huh? Breaking the record! <laughs> and then we're talking about records that you used to play music on, okay? Yeah. Well, anyway, it would, it would do that type of finish, and sometimes if they're too coarse, they will slap the pad back and forth in the bracket, and it'll make noise until the pads break in. So what we do to eliminate that is I'm gonna go ahead and flip the lathe on, okay? And we're gonna take this, you come around right here, uh, camera person. We're going to take this uh, die grinder here and watch what it does. It breaks up that finish is what it does. It simply just breaks up that finish to where that brake pad can't do that record player effect. Okay? So now let me slide by you. You can stay over there. Or you come right there and be fine. And we'll do this side as well. that up a little bit and that's what we call that done okay see this finish here nathaniel yeah see how it looks all swirly now oh yeah okay so that's what we were after by doing that die grinder on there just put that finish on like that all right let's tear this down we're gonna let nathaniel put the next one on there and machine it all right now that way right there actually that is the right way today i'm sorry yeah 
you're gonna be going clockwise to, to loosen it. All right, now this way you will have to tap it. Remember I told you before, yeah. just to use the weight of the machine, but this one time, go ahead and hit that with your hand. Hold it with this right here and just hit it with your hand. Here, let me do it. Lay that right there and go ahead and turn that nut on off of there. I'm gonna pop your band off for you. I tell, or you pop it off. Grab that band and pop it off of there that way. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Now don't lay it down there in the, in the stuff. But let's put it back up here on the on the rack. Give me this piece here too. Yeah. And look what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna stick it right up here because we're getting ready to use it again. Okay. Okay. So I'll put it right there. Pull that, go ahead and pull the cone off. Good job. Okay. And we'll just lay it right here. Sometimes I sit it right here on top of that. It'll fit right up there on that nut. All right, and you said you want this off? Yeah. yeah, pull the band off. And we'll have to put it on the next one. Either way, one side or the other. Okay. Doesn't matter. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> Snapped off there, didn't it? All right, you just hang it right here for now. We're gonna use it again. Pull your rotor off there. All right, good job, buddy. That's ready to put back on the car and we'll install some brakes. Okay, folks, we're on rotor two now and Nathaniel, we're gonna let him uh, take control of this thing and see if we can get through it. Yeah. All right, hold on a minute. Hold on, whoa, whoa, what, what else goes on there for that? What's that other thing that looks like a ice cream cone? Is it this thing here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give me that. <laughs> Put that on there. All right, look here. This thing's not in the center. You gotta lift up on that rotor. All right. Lift up on the rotor. You get it up on that cone. Lift up on the rotor. Oh, there you go. See to where that pops through the center, okay? Yeah. All right, now slide that up again, sir. Don't squish your finger. <laughs> there you go, slide it up there. Now, reach around with the other hand and wiggle them cones. Here, let me show you. Like, like, like so. Remember how I told you to go like that a little bit? Yeah. All right, do that one time so you know what that feels like. Can you reach in around there and do that? Twist it. There you go. All right. That's fine. That'd be good. All right, now what needs to go in there now? All three of them, right? Yeah. Good job. All right. Stick those on there. Go. There you go. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm gonna hold this up here for you, okay? Okay, good. Now slide that, you wanna keep on tightening all that up, okay? Keep on going. All right, grab your wrench, and put it on there. Now wait, hold on, do it. I'm gonna tell you, do it this way right here. Remember what I told you? Don't don't smack it, turn it, t push down until the, until the machine turns. Keep pressing down. Grab it and just push it down, son. Don't hit it, don't hit it. Turn, push down on it. Push, push, till the machine turns. Till the machine turns, keep going. Push harder. There you go, there you go, there you go. So that's all you had to do. That's as tight as it needs to be until the machine turns, okay? Good job. All right, now, this is gonna be difficult, okay? I'll let you give it a try, but if you have trouble with it, I'll take over, because this is really hard, because it's the wrong size. I think I might better do that. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. It's, it's tough for me. I don't think so. You want me to get it right quick? Yeah, you Let me do. get that. Yeah, this is yeah really, you do it. Let me get this on here. So this is really not made for this size rotor. I really had to pull. Get, get to go around here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh, see. oh, no. <laughs> Popped off on me too, didn't it? Uh, it'll sit you in the eye. I'm okay. That's why we wear eye protection. Oh. Oh. Come on. It better not pop off again. Yeah, all right, we got it this Okay, time. good, good, good. All right, now, do you remember what to do next? Yeah. Check on these right here. Okay. Go ahead and break these loose, okay? Let's back them off a little bit. We cut the other rotor. They got them loose? 
Yeah. All right, now, okay. We want the bits to open up a little bit because right now if we ran it in, it gouged right into there, okay? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn these out. Just like yep, turn it out a little bit, keep going. That's probably good there, turn the other one out. Okay, good job, good job, that's good right there. Now, go ahead and turn this in. You hear, that, you hear that little noise right there? Yeah. If you, where it won't make that noise, just take your other hand and hold back on that a minute. This machine's old and out of adjustment. Hold that back mm -hmm. and then don't make that noise when you do that, okay? So do that for me. And go ahead, move it in about halfway. No, no, go this way, so just hold it that way. There you go, now turn that in. And let's go about halfway through here, keep on spinning. Keep on spinning, keep on going, keep going. Go a little further than halfway, keep going. That's good right there, good right there. All right, now, time to go and flip the machine on. And which way you wanna do it, rotor or drum? Ruler. That's right, go rotor. All right, good job. Now, come over here, Tighten this one up until it touches. All right, all right. Keep going. Easy. Now don't crank it in. You, I mean, gotta be easy and slow, okay? And when it touches, stop. Easy. Easy. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Do this side here the same way.
And I can almost guarantee you're going to have to come over here and hold this pad and it's still hollow, okay? Alright. So stand here and don't get, your, don't get your shirt close to this and get tangled up here, okay? Right. Be careful. Don't be standing too close to it. You just hold it up against there, okay? Just hold that pad there. Just like so. Alright. Okay? All you gotta do is keep just a little bit of pressure on there, okay? Here, yeah, watch this. Let me take this. I'm putting my thumb about right there, okay? I'm gonna pull it up here. Where so I can take my thumb and put just a little bit of pressure on, okay? Now I got my middle finger holding that other stick, okay? That's all you gotta do is just kind of let it rest on there. Do that. Watch your finger. There you go. That's good. That's good right there. You're doing good. And you ain't got to press that hard, okay? I'm going to just kind of let it sit there a while. All right. Hey, we got to do that. How's it going, baby? All right. Yeah, hold it up there. There you go. Okay, I tell you what, use two hands. Like right here, grab it right here. Yeah. You just kind of. Ease into it, you got more control over that way. Alright. Alright, go ahead. Not, not, not full blast, just ease into it. It ain't got me that fast. There you go. Go back in that. There you go. Kind of moving around. Keep going, keep turning. Oh, oh what happened? Oh, what happened? Sparks. Yeah, it was a spark. Cut, cut me. <laughs> a spark got you? Yeah, it cut me. Uh, I doubt that. It might have burnt you a little bit. What? You're going to do this time. Let me hit this one more time. All right. Let's bring the camera over. So the thing was good work here. Man, hit my dry, hit my dry skin. You all right? <laughs> Come over here and look at your work. Come here. How's it look? Oh. I'm gonna pop the rubber band off there. Yeah, pop it off. How's it looking? Oh, it looks good. I think it looks good. Yeah. I think you've done a great job. Good yeah. job, Nathaniel. What do you think? Yeah. Did, was it fun? Yeah. You had fun learning how to cut a rotor today? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell the good people out there uh, to come back and see us again and subscribe to us. Yeah, take sure you subscribe comment and like eternal friends of all those we'll see you next time guys take care